welcome back to the channel. What's up, guys? How are you all? I hope everyone is doing great. I don't understand one thing here. Whenever I want to travel, one day before, I I'll think I'll never keep any work pending. All the other days before, at least 10 to 15 days, I'll be khali. But just before leaving for a trip, I'll have a ton of work to do. So, look, with the two or three packages are here, which are pending from a long time. I had to unbox these. One very important car accessory I've ordered. This specifically for my dad's car. Let's first unbox. I'll show it to you. So if you guys remember a few months back after a small incident, I've decided to get a dash cam for my car. I was making a U-turn here, this, which is the right way to make a U-turn. I put an indicator, I did all that stuff. And one more on, he comes from this way and he's trying to make a U-turn here, dude. And trust me, that was one of the best decisions I've taken because now I drive with confidence. Because having proof is very important in 2024. 90% of the time, you will be blamed for no fault of yours. Like recently, once more, this typical opposite driving wala incident happened to me. People come in the opposite direction and when confronted, they will start arguing confidence that kind of confidence you need in life but recently when this incident happened to me he comes in the opposite direction sees the dash cam and chup chup chale gaya. i mean that's typical human psychology right when you're doing something wrong when you're breaking a rule and then you come across a camera that is capturing you obviously you will feel guilty a little bit and you will not start arguing will get away from there same thing happened to him that day and he saw the camera and he just chup chup left not one or two incidents but if you go online and check there are incidents every single day where dash cams help commuters physically, emotionally, and the most important thing, financially. You see, Indian roads are pretty unpredictable. Dash cams have become more important than fuel in your car. They can be used in case of accident disputes, to challenge challenge as insurance claims evidence, and generally even vlog your journey. So when I made this video about the dash cam that I put in my car, my dad saw this video and he was like, I also want one. And for someone like my dad who travels a lot, not in the city, but he travels outside the state as well, I think having a dash cam is very important. And as for our beloved car, our beloved orange color, Varna, so many emotions with that car, yeah. Now, dad is using it. So I thought I'll get the best dash cam for it. Okay, it feels really, really feels really good to be back in my old car, Hamara beloved Varna. So many memories in this car, yaar. and it drives like a gem. So obviously after using the Cubo dash cam in my car, which is from the trusted house of Hero, I ordered one more dash cam called the Cubo dash cam Pro X for my dad's car. Also one more thing, my friend actually got this uh, dash cam for his car. It's called the CP plus car cam, cam with a K and it records in full HD 1080p. But he did not fix it in his car. He said, I can try it out. By that time I already ordered and I received the Cubo dash cam Pro X. But now because we have both the cameras, I thought why not compare both of these dash cams and make an informed decision and also let you people know which is the best one. By the way, both of these come under a budget of rupees 3,500. For comparison, I picked seven important parameters. As always, rating is very important. So the first thing I did is I went on to Amazon and started researching for dash cams. And I found that Cubo has a crazy 4.3 rating by customers, while the CP Plus has a much lower rating. And when I read the reviews, there were complaints. Second parameter is the design. The Cubo Dash Cam Pro X has a very sleek cylindrical design with three color options. You get gray, blue, and olive green. As every car has a windshield at a slightly different angle, the 360 degree rotation makes it easy to align with your car's windshield to get the best recording angle for your car. Pro X dash cam can also be detached from the body and carried anywhere. In case you need to sync your camera up at home or you want to view the recordings, you have a very convenient option to do it anywhere, not just sitting inside the car. While the CP Plus dash cam is a cuboid shaped camera, which does not have any rotatable or any detachable functionality and just comes in one color black. Both the dash cams have a mic, which means you can record audio, which can be useful if you're vlogging. And the best part, wait for a second. This rotates almost 360 degrees any angles. So if you're capturing your beautiful journey, you can also rotate the camera 360 degrees and talk to the camera. And if you have your wife, your girlfriend or your friend, you can sit together and vlog. I think that's going to make a nice car vlog, right? Or if you need to record an incident with audio, that's there. Now, personally, I think having a camera that is detachable, that has a 360 rotating camera that you're getting at this price point at 3,500, I think that is the best deal you can get. Now, both of these cameras come with two megapixel high resolution, but the key difference is in the sensor's quality because the camera is the most important thing in any dash camera, right? To get the best quality detailed shots, especially in a dash cam where videos are used as proof, a good quality video can capture the details of a license plate. The dash cam Pro X uses a Sony IMX sensor, whereas the CP Plus has hasn't mentioned any top class sensor so no points there for the CP plus we all agree that Sony CMOS sensors are the best in the market for this reason once again the Cubo Pro X is our obvious choice besides this both the brands claim to capture good quality video in low light conditions as well 
One more important thing to consider is Indian conditions. We have extreme heat and extreme cold conditions. And depending on where you live and installing a dash cam right on the windshield, it gets direct exposure to sunlight. So it is very important to check what kind of battery is being used in the dash cam. In the Cubo Dash Cam Pro X, a super capacitor is being used which gives you stable performance and it can withstand extreme temperatures right from minus 25 degrees to 85 degrees. In CP Plus, they are using lithium ion, which is typically unsafe in warmer temperatures, which can lead to a battery leak and can damage your dash cam. A super capacitor battery is more durable and it helps increase the durability of the device so cubo dash cam pro x is once again a clear winner here now as a dash cam is used to record videos of your road trips sd card storage compatibility becomes the most important aspect the cubo dash cam pro x supports up to 1 tb of sd storage and is compatible with a lot of sd card storage options that you can easily get online and when you purchase dash cam pro x from amazon they have also clearly mentioned the compatible cards with their dash cams personally found this information very useful but once again in cp plus unfortunately only sd card storage storage up to 512GB is supported and you have to do a hit and trial of which SD card is going to be compatible as many were not supported. I tried to search but CP Plus has not addressed this thing anywhere on their website or even on Amazon so I found it a little bit troublesome. Now talking of the app control, see you need to access all this video footage right? Cubo Dash Cam Pro X comes with the Pro X app, very easy to use, register and use the device. It's got a very smooth user interface and it's very user friendly. We can see event recordings, trip recordings and time lapses easily in the app but personally I did not like the CP Plus app does not have a great user experience and has limited functionality. Now last but not the least, the Dashcam Pro X is from Cubo, a trusted hero brand. Cubo is definitely an established player in this segment and they know what they are doing and have consistent ratings right from the beginning. Not just this camera but for all their Dashcams and I believe they already have a proper service network established. In comparison, this is a new launch from primarily a surveillance tech company. Also there are some inconsistencies that I've found because CP Plus claims to have parking surveillance in their product which is amazing but you need to separately purchase that hardware kit from them. That's a little bit disappointing because that was one of the features they have highlighted. Now these are the seven important parameters I think you have to consider while purchasing a proper dash cam for your car. After doing all these checks, I've decided that the Cubo Dash Cam Pro X is the one to go with. So I've already installed that in the Verna and I hope my dad is going to love it.